In today's video, eight steps to build a coaching program. Hello coaches, welcome back to another episode of Five Minute Friday from Adero Learning. My name is Kim and I am the premium mentor for the Coach Micro Credential. I'm also the creator of the Women Who Lead Certificate Program and the co-founder of the Coattail Program. Today I am super excited to be sharing with you a highlight from my recent Coach Better interview with Joe Ellen Killian. We talked about what makes coaching programs successful in schools around the world. And for those of you that don't know Jo Ellen Killian, she is the author of many books about coaching, but these specific tips come from the Coaching Matters book, authored by Jo Ellen and Cindy Harrison, Chris Bryan, and Heather Clifton. These eight steps to build a coaching program are foundational elements that schools and coaches need to consider before they begin to develop their coaching program. You need to have answers to these eight questions so that you can build a successful coaching program. I'm going to go through the eight here with you today. If this is the kind of learning you're looking to dig deeper into, this is exactly what we talk about in the coach certificate program. So I will make sure to leave a link for that in the description below, maybe on the screen up here, so that you can find out more about the coach and learning about how to build a successful coaching program in your school. All right, the eight steps to build a coaching program are Number one, to define your purpose and your goal for this program. What do you hope to achieve through this coaching program? What's your vision? Number two, to define coaching. What do you mean by that? What is coaching? Build a common understanding not only among the team that's defining this vision, but build a common understanding amongst the staff in the school that you're in. Number three, have a hiring strategy. How will you hire the right coaches for your school at the right time? How will you support and develop them inside this program? Number four, scheduling, deployment, actions, duties of coaches. How do we decide what coaches do? Joellen has written another article about the 10 roles of coaches. And when she talks about that article, she doesn't want one single coach doing all 10 roles all the time. As a school, you need to decide two or three roles that are most important, and those are the priority for the coach at that time at this school. Number five, train the principals. It is essential that principals understand the purpose of coaching, the roles of coaching, how coaching is going to work, their role in supporting coaches, and setting expectation for staff in working with coaches. If those aren't in place, it's going to be a real struggle for coaching to be successful. Number six, scheduling coaches, thinking about where they work, how they work, and who they work with. What is their time spent doing, and how is that put into the calendar in the structure of the school day? Number seven, building a culture of coaching figuring out what's working successfully already in your school in terms of a coaching culture, and then assessing what's missing and what needs to be tuned up for coaching to be effective. And of course, determining who is responsible for making that happen. And number eight, developing an evaluation system for coaches and the coaching program, understanding what the expectations are and ensuring there's a way to evaluate the success or areas of growth for your coaching program. All eight of those are essential in building a successful program in your school. So as you're listening or watching this episode and hearing those eight elements, this might be a great time for you to think about which aspects are in place in your school setting, which aspects need maybe refinement or development, and how can you begin that process to ensure that coaching is successful in your school environment. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this conversation. If you are ready to develop your coaching practice over the next academic year, please join us for the next cohort of The Coach. Wherever you are in building a coaching culture in your school, The Coach will give you the strategies, skills, and tools that you need to make coaching a success. This academic year-long online course and mentorship program will empower you to confidently apply instructional coaching strategies in any situation, from building a coaching program, to having a coaching conversation, to being a leader in your school community. Registration for our next global cohort opens on the 21st of February and closes on the 14th of March. 
We facilitate only one cohort each year so we can offer individualized support for each participant. Now is your chance to be part of a global cohort of passionate and engaged learners to leverage 40 weeks of in-depth coaching content with practical challenges to build your coaching skills and to reflect on your practice for the entire academic year with a mentor. Become a certified Eduro Learning Instructional Coach today. Head over to edurolearning.com slash coach to find out more. Here at Eduro, we provide customized online professional learning for educators at the intersection of technology, coaching, and leadership. Our mission is to empower the relentless learner in you to embrace your inner leader and make a bigger impact in your school setting. Join our Coach Better Facebook group and connect with us on social media at Aduro Learning for more great resources at the intersection of technology, coaching, and leadership. Thank you so much for joining us for today's episode, and we'll see you next time.